Oh, hello there. Welcome back to Crafters TV. Uh, we have got a really lovely couple of hours uh, planned. It is going to be all about the craft along, which is lovely. We're going to take it down a peg or two, create something fabulous uh, together over the next couple of hours, looking at one of our most recent launches, uh, the fabulous Concertina Dyes, which is going to be awesome because we are with someone awesome as well. Craig is back with us uh, again in the studio. How's it going, Craig? Train to go again for another craft along too. Yeah, well, I've, I've not had one for a long, long, long time and then I've got two in two days. So yeah, we're going to go in with this one here. So this one we have launched, uh, well, around about a month ago, which is our concertina border and corners. And it was myself that done them. So we've got the craft along. So what we're going to uh, make now, kind of like two options. We're going to go through the shopping list in a second. Now the box frame is optional. You don't necessarily have to put it in the box frame. I've put it in the box frame just to make it as a decor piece. It could absolutely easily be on the front of an 8x8 card blank. But this is what you could be making if you want to pop it into a box nice. frame. So that is what we're going to make. It is, of course, using one of my other favourites, which is decoupage. But to make what I'm going to make, here's a shopping list for you to gather. We did have it across on social media earlier on throughout the day, but here we are, if you're just catching it now, you're going to need your 3D concertina border dies, the lace ones. We're going to need our 12 by 12 Enchanted Dreams paper pad, our white multi-purpose cardstock, Pale Fig Water Reactive Ink Pad, Silver Mirror Card, the Floral Decoupage, which is the Lily Dye, the Floral Decoupage Lily Paper Pad. If you're going to need some gems, silver ones, six millimetres lilac ribbon. Now, give or take, it doesn't have to be exactly six millimetre width, but lilac ribbon and some foam pads. The additional items, we are going to be using the midi, you can use the junior or of course, in actual fact, you can even use the mini for the actual concertina element, but I'm using the Gemini midi. We're going to use the large guillotine, pokey tool, low tack tape, blending tool pad for our ink, double sided tape, you can use your tape runner, red liner tape, our dye brush tool and the optional item of our 8x8 box frame if you wanted to. So that's everything that you're going to need to actually create exactly what I'm going to do. You might change it up, you might use one of the other concertina dies, you might then use one of the other floral decoupage, you, page, you might put a photo in the middle, that's entirely up to you. But that's what you're going to need to make exactly what I'm going to do. Amazing. Uh, so if you haven't yet gathered all of that together, you've got a few more minutes to do so. Uh, lots of you getting in touch and saying hello. Eileen is saying good morning. Angela's here as well. Uh, Rosalind says, Joe and Craig, this should be hilarious. Well, we can, we can hope. Uh, Mary Pat says hi, everyone uh, from Montana as well. Uh, now, if you uh, haven't joined us for a craft along before, uh, an award-winning craft along, may I say, uh, then uh, we'll, Craig will take regular breaks as we go all the way through. It'll give you an opportunity uh, to get yourself caught up and Craig will recap the steps as well. But if there's anything you missed that you do need recapping, then you can get in touch with me really easily. Crafters TV over on Facebook, Crafters Companion if you are across on YouTube and I will fire those questions over to Craig for you. If you don't yet own uh, the Constantina dies, then it's definitely not too late. You you can order these now uh, today and what we'll do is we'll get these sent out to you ASAP and then you'll be able to watch this craft along back whenever you want. It will live forever over on our website craftscompanion.co.uk.com.eu and that is uh, also where you go to order. But it is these, the concertina dies. They have been so, so popular. They make these fabulous corners and borders for you, which is going to be a great accent to loads of different projects uh, that you might want to create. So that one was the vines, the first one there, and then we also have the lace as well. Uh, great value here too. 23.98 or 26.95 saves you a fifth, which is wonderful. Under £20 or $22 if you are a Platinum member. Uh, right, loads of you still uh, chatting away. Barbara saying hi everyone from Indiana. Hi Barbara. Um, but I think, Craig, judging by the comments, if you are ready, everyone else is pretty much good to go, I think. I think so. I think we can be uh, pretty much good to go. Started. So let's do it. So what we're going to do to start, I'm going to set that just to the side for the moment. I'm going to go in with our silver mirror card here. So this is just some from our luxury silver card bundle. And I'm going to go in with some of our multi-purpose cardstock as well, because what happens is the white is really, really nicely going to set off the whole project. 
And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going in with one of the 12 by 12 papers from the Enchanted Dreams. I'm going to go in with this one here. It's kind of like that gold work uh, at the backdrop, backdrop that we can see here. You might want to change it. That's up to you. But that's the one I'm going to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my multi-purpose card. Now, this is the point where you might want to put it on a card blank instead. So if that's the case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my multi-purpose card to seven and a half by seven and a half. Now, if you're wanting to do a card blank, either take a card blank or do another one this size, do a score line, attach it, and then that is your seven and a half by seven and a half. I'm not doing a card blank. I'm going to set it on the front of this frame. So that is my base. So what I'm then going to do is I'm going to go in with my silver. And then with the silver, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come right down to seven inches. So seven by seven that we can see here. And then I'm going to go in with another piece of our white multi-purpose card. I'm going to go over all these measurements again just in a moment, so don't worry or panic. But that one here being seven by seven. Piece of our multi-purpose, let's do this to six and three quarters by six and three quarters. So we can then bring this one round. So that's going to give us a perfect matte and layer with the silver. And then now that I've done that, what I want to do is I want to come in with my pattern paper. So this one, I'm going to use this area here. You can choose whichever part of the paper pad that you want. And of course, I'm going to come down another quarter of an inch. So with that one being six and three quarters by six and three quarters, this one can come to six and a half by six and a half. So this is going to give us our basis for our card blank or box frame, whichever way that you're choosing to use it. So if I set that to the side just for a second, what that's going to do is that's going to give us a nice white fresh matte and layer, but it sets it off beautifully against that silver. So that is the basis. You'll see how even although that would work, the pattern paper against the silver, it's nice to frame it. And this is what this one's all about. Whether it's a box frame or whether it's a card blank, it's about framing the center object using the concertina dies. So let's frame when it comes to the matte and layers. So that was six and a half, let me check. Yep, six and a half inches by six and a half inches. Our white multi-purpose was six and three quarters by six and three quarters. Our silver was seven by seven. And then our next layer for our white multi-purpose was seven and a half inches by seven and a half inches. So we can set that one to the side for a moment. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come in with another piece of the 12 by 12, which just so happens to have your four blocks on these ones here. And I want to have this one here. So I want to have that circular aperture. It complements the pattern paper that I used a moment ago. And all that I'm going to do is I'm going to chop this down into four. I don't need the other three blocks. It's just that one. So let's line that up and then cut. And then we can line that one up and cut as well. Only thing I need to double check is that it's exactly square. So that one is just over five and three quarters. And that one is six inches. So all that I need to do is trim this size here. So it's five and three quarters. And then let's just take that one down to five and three quarters. So we've got our perfect square. What we can then do is let's go in with our next piece of our white multi-purpose. We can then go six inches by six inches, and that's also then going to frame it. So if I bring this layer back in, so we will stick these down in a moment, but then that's going to sit nicely into the middle. You're still getting part of that pattern paper just popping out from the edges there, but it's all about layering into that main focal point, which will be the focus of the project. So we can set that 
to the side. And then for this one here, I'm not going to stick this together just yet because we're ready to cut using the concertina dies just shortly. So what I want to do is be able to tuck them in so we don't see the workings. But for the time being, what we can do, Joe, is taking your choice of adhesive, your tape runner, your glues, whatever you so wish. We're going to layer our pattern paper onto our white and then onto the back of the white, I'm going to use foam pads. That's going to add extra dimension. That's going to add extra lift, which I can get away with because I'm putting it into a box frame. But if you're doing it onto a card blank, you might want to keep it shallower, which is your choice. Awesome. Any questions that you've got, get them into me uh, as we go along uh, as well. Crafters TV over on Facebook, uh, Crafters Companion, if you are across on YouTube. What I should say as well, Craig, whilst this is a craft along, don't forget all of the warehouse clearance deals are live Absolutely. over on the website. Absolutely. I'm going to take you through uh, a few of the highlights of those through this show as well, because a lot of stuff, Craig, I think could sell out before we actually get to I that agree with you. show. It's going to be fast and furious, that one. Absolutely agree with you on that one, Joe. Do check them out. Um, what I'm just doing, before I mat and layer this back on actually, I meant to go in with my pink fig. This one is our water reactive. So all that I need to do is go round the edges, enhancing the edge. And this is where, I'm going to say the word quite a lot throughout this craft along, this is just enhancing the frame. So our mats and layers are doing the framing. Our colour throughout the edge of the pink tulip is going to do the framing. We've got our frame within our central, center topper here for our decoupage, but it then frames using the concertina. So just right. going in with this one here. Jeffrey says, good day, Craig and Ben and all superstar CCTV crew. Ooh. Jeffrey. Afternoon, Joe. Are you <laughs> well, Joe? Well, you called me Ben in the early days. I show, did, didn't you I? no room to talk. <laughs> uh, Elizabeth says, hi, from across the pond in Nashville, Tennessee. Stephanie's saying hi, Barbara's saying hi as well. Got a right chatty bunch. Good to see for a Monday. Sorry? It's good to see for a Monday. Mmm. Usually some people are... Uh, I just went, I didn't hear what you said, but I'd ask you again to repeat and didn't hear again. So rather than asking you again to repeat, I just went... Mm. <laughs> but what you, what you couldn't see was the way if you... I always said at the same time, I went... Mm. <laughs> very British, isn't it? Very, very British, British response. Very polite. Very polite. All that I said was, it's good to see for a Monday oh, that everyone's absolutely happy. absolutely it is. And chatty and chirpy. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> I've missed you so much. Oh, I've missed you too, Craig. Reunited. Back together. No one leaves me hanging like you do sometimes. Oh, thank you. I think you're welcome. That is a compliment. I want a day to be reunited as well. How? UK Warehouse. Ah, oh, right. Okay. I'm glad. I like how me and Charlotte both had the same thought. How? What's happening today? Yeah, the warehouse clearance. Absolutely. By golly, that was a busy wake-up call, was it? Wasn't it? Oh, so so busy. Uh, all the deals for the warehouse clearance live over on the website, of course. Lots of you taking advantage of those, which is awesome. Some excellent, excellent prices. And there's loads across there, so yeah, check them out. Some of these elements you'd be able to use within your craft along. You know, obviously, I know going back and watching it would not be live, but then it means you've got the benefit of pausing and reversing and muting and all those additional elements. I'll wait to see, is this stuck to my glass mat now? Oh, no, we're all right. We're all good. Gonna go in here. There we go. So all that I'm doing is popping this one on into place. And then we're gonna add that one with my foam pad. So I don't want to go with real deep foam pads. I'm gonna go in with these ones are about three millimeters. We our ones are three millimeters as well within the bundle. Or you can even use your uh, foam on a continuous roll. I don't even need to say that. Follow a continuous roll. Yeah, I don't need to say that when you're on, eh? Follow a continuous roll, eh? I yeah, think ben. it's finally... Finally running out of steam. Oh, it ran out of steam with me yeah. ages ago. Yeah. Did Back Ben sing it yesterday? Ben sang it yesterday. I didn't. It's because he's been off for so long, that's why, you know. He hasn't been here banging that foam on a roll drum. No, he's not. 
He hasn't indeed. He will get fed up one day, hopefully. He's like one of these overexcited dogs when they see the, the ball. He's like that with, here's the word foam on a roll. His ears just prick up. He loves it. He does. He blooming loves it. How come you're opting for tape rather than a tape pen? Because this is my, my favourite choice of adhesive. Is it? It is, yeah. Yeah. It's, is uh, this just double-sided tape or is this what, finger, finger lift tape? No, it's just double-sided tape. Right. So it's exactly the same. It's the same adhesive. It's the same material as finger lift. The only difference right. with finger lift is you have a an extra little edge at the side for you to then pop your fingernail underneath and take that back and oh. off. Um, this is just uh, what we call this. It's tissue tape, double-sided tape. But that's always my uh, personal choice. I always like to use my double-sided tape and my foam pads for my mats and my layers. Oh, hello. Hi. It's like, the, uh, it's like being at the, uh, at the fairground. At the fairground. The strange mirrors at the seaside. Yeah, oh, yeah, hi. Gooey. You see, hi, hi. <laughs> It's proper exciting TV for you, isn't it? Oh! That's like the scream mask there, isn't it? Oh! Oh, wow! It's like, like oh, it's thin out, we've gone a bit jaunt now. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Oh! <laughs> what? Oh, dear. You look like a French bulldog. <laughs> <laughs> it's really odd. It's a bit scary, isn't it? Oh, he's gone. That's it. <laughs> oh, dear. <sighs> right, right. Gosh. Right, grow up, grow up, grow up, grow up, grow up. Yes, Charlotte, Charlotte, I'm 36. All right, Charlotte. Charlotte, thank you, thank you. Sassy Charlotte today, isn't she? It's is sassy. Sassy. Yeah. She's shout what are you shouting for? She's picked herself a holiday, that's why. She's got a holiday booked, isn't she? Mm-hmm. Sun in it. A week, is it a week in Mallorca, Charlotte? It's a week, yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, Patty says, good morning from California. Good morning. Good morning, Patty. It's very, it's very early there, 20 past six in the morning. Uh, what's the, Johnny would like to know what the weather's like, please, uh, Patty. Uh, Angela says, reunited, and it feels so good. Love that song. Uh, and Carla says, boys and their toys, eh? I mean, easily amused. Things you can do with your mirror card. Better mirror card. Yeah. Easily please. Easily please. You don't need to spend a lot of money on me, a sheet of mirror card, and that's me no, and anybody's. Done. Very happy. Very happy indeed. So now we have got our mats and our layers good to go, and then we can bring this one back in here. So you've kind of got two options. So we're away to do the die cutting when it comes to our concertina dies. Now you can either tuck them into the back of the pattern paper and then pop them on. This is then going to give you a more enclosed frame because you're still going to see your matte and layer of the white on the outside. But of course, if you want to then have your concertina dies kind of like fulfilling the whole of the frame, you can tuck them onto the back of your white layers. So it's a bit, a bit of a personal choice when it comes to that one there. I am going to tuck them into the back of my patterned layer. So I'm going to set that one to the side. I'm going to start that one to the side there. And then at this point, this is where you've got another bit of creative freedom if you are following along with the craft along. So you'll see from the one that I've done, I've used the corners and I've done them into the pattern paper. So it really does pull that full image together. You can, of course, cut them into your silver mirror card, or you can do them into your white multi-purpose cardstock if you want. For the sake of this time, to try and keep it exactly the same, but mix it up ever so slightly, I am going to cut my concertina corners into our white multi-purpose cardstock. And then that's then going to tie in our silver matte layer 
uh, or sorry, our white matting layer that we've got underneath. So all that I need to do is come in with my multi-purpose cardstock, and then I'm going to come in with these dies. So before we go on and do all of these die cutting elements now, it's maybe worthwhile just taking a break. Yeah. Now that we've stopped Perfect. at that point, we've got our base done for what will be either our card blank or of course our box frame. And then we've got our centre layers all good to go. They're all inked, they're all ready to assemble with the double-sided uh, double dies, with the concertina dies in a moment. Amazing. Uh, if you want to go for that white multi-purpose card stock, you can. Uh, you get 180 sheets for to uh, in total here. You essentially buy two, you get one free, which is amazing. Uh, it's what was our white stamping card, essentially. We've renamed it, and rightly so, because it does much more uh, than just stamping. There's absolutely loads that you can do with that. Right, I want to tell you about this. Uh, one of the amazing, there's so many amazing uh, warehouse clearance deals coming up for you. Remember, the UK warehouse clearance is here this evening in the UK. 6 p.m., that's 1 p.m. over on the East Coast, 10 a.m. across on the West Coast. It's been exceptionally busy already. We're going to bring you a few uh, of the busiest deals throughout this craft along. This one is absolutely flying out at the moment. It is the Gemini MIDI, which is fantastic. Now, $69.99 or $89.95, that is the usual price over on our website, but normally you would just get the MIDI on its own and all the contents that goes with it. It comes with, of course, um, all the usual accoutrement you should expect. Uh, the folder and your purple shim is in there as well. But when you go for it in the warehouse clearance, what we're actually going to give you is £28.96 or 38 80 worth of accessories which you are getting totally free of charge which is amazing so you're going to get two packs of the plastic folders so rather than having plates and a, a plate based system it's a folder based system so you get four extra ones of these in total you also get an extra purple shim in there and you also get uh, the plate storage bag to go with that too. As I said, that's almost £30 or $40 worth of value, which is incredible. So make sure uh, you are snapping that up whilst it is on that great deal. If you are a Platinum member, uh, then it comes down to £56 or £72. $2. Another one I've got to tell you about, because it is proving so exceptionally busy uh, at the moment over on the website, is that Lucky Dip bag. Now, Lucky Dip, the £1, $1 and £5, $5 ones did sell out. Uh, however, we do still have, we have more of the £3, $3 one. Um, basically, what happens is you can order up to four of these and for every one you order, we will send you an item. So uh, you could be getting some amazing stamps in there for £3 or $3. Maybe it's going to be some awesome stamps and dies. They are incredible. Could be an embossing folder as well. Maybe uh, you're going to get one of our amazing interchangeable dies. It's going to be a sentiment. Uh, lots of you multi you ordering and going for four that's the maximum you can order without getting any duplicates so a lot of you going for that uh two dollars forty or uh, two pounds forty if you are a platinum member but very very busy uh, on that one there as well so do snap that up um never grow up says deborah never ever grow up and uh, monica says happy monday boys happy monday to you as well monica uh, it's lovely to have your company uh i think craig um yes. there's no questions at all in the comments so that's a really great sign if you're ready to press on absolutely let's go for it so what we can do is let's go in with our die cutting elements just now and we're going to use the midi for this one and we are using for this one we're going to use the lace set but i'm only going to use the corners for this one so what we can do is take the die, and if you've not seen these before or not seen these used before, they really are fun in the way that they start to then come together. So we can see how we can then take our folder. So we've got our folder that we've got here, and this just being folder base. So we're gonna pop it in, and then we're gonna close, and we're gonna run it through here. So within this one, we're gonna do it four times, because we do want the four corners. So if I take this one and then moving it, popping it out, so we can then start to peel it out. And the way that the product development team have designed these, it's fab because what you're left with, within the full corner of the decoration, you've got your score lines, but even when it comes to this little, uh, this little triangle here. This is all about the way that it forms together. Because it concertina down, it presses down, then it just nestles nicely into here, which will become apparent in a moment or two. So we do that another three times with our multi-purpose cardstock. You choose, as I said a moment ago before, Joe, 
went over everything. If you want to do it in your pattern paper, you can do. It's a nice thing to have a change about, see how it looks, pattern paper, or your white card, or even color card, texture card, all of these ones. Always, uh, it's really interesting to see how different it can look. So we can take that one, and then we're going to do another one as well. Taking these ones through. No issues, nothing at all when it comes to the MIDI. Pop it in the folder. The only thing you need to remember, to prolong your folders, just flip and rotate the folders each time. And that's going to enable them to last a lot, lot longer. Taking these ones out. Even with the score lines done, all you need to do is give them a helping hand when it comes to burnishing them. And then you've got options as well. You don't have to always use them as the concertina corners. So within this one here, even if you chop down the edges, you've got a lovely little photo corner on its own or a decorative corner for maybe a, a photo or a topper or your car blank or a scrapbook page. What about using it on the foil press, Joe? Foil nice. with it. And then once you've foiled it, of course, you won't need any of this section here, but foil it and then just chop down the two edges and you've got a lovely foiled corner as well. So it's all about the options that it gives you. So we can go in and then all that I need to do, do these another two times, but we're taking out all the bits in between. So let's take them out. And using our pokey tool, all of these additional things, if you see us using them or mention them that aren't necessarily on the show, you'll always find them across on our website. These are always co cool, core tools that are always core. in stock. Core tools. Core tools. Core. And just like anything, if it does happen to be out of stock, you have that option where you can pop your email address in and then you're notified when it comes back in. But many of the core tools you will find are always in stock on, yeah, uh, on our website. There. Just search core over on the website and you see them. <laughs> I said, today, the simplest words are the ones that I'm struggling with. Yeah. There's a core tool, core tool masterclass on Saturday, Craig, uh, with Michelle. Is it Michelle? Oh, I have to tell you. Uh, oh. I'll tell you what time it is a little later in the week. Yeah. Cryptic. Cryptic. Indeed. Let's take these ones out. That would be a good one if you are not even necessarily new to us, but just new to crafting in general. Mm. Be nice to know what your core tools are and where you're going to use them, how you're going to use them, the different ways that you can use them as well. For instance, a pokey tool. Yes, it's great for poking all the little bits out, but then it's good for taking the back off of your double-sided tape. But then what they're good for as well, you might find you've maybe got some craft rulers at home. You know that I've got the tiny little holes all the way along, so you can do your paper punching with your pokey tools through them as well. Good for lifting the gems and that. So your pokey tools aren't always one of those tools that's good for one thing. They've got a benefit when it comes to multi-use. Craig, once we've done this section, would you mind just recapping the measurements of the base pieces? I uh, will do. Jean is uh, struggling with a few of the measurements, so no problem. we'll do that, Tell no problem for you, Jean. What we'll do is we'll pop all these bits out and then before we get any further along, anyone else that just needs those measurements gone over, we'll do that in just a couple of seconds. Amazing. How's your hand, Craig? I know you had a bit of a... You had a bit of a fight with a craft knife, didn't you, last week? I did indeed. Yeah, oh. last last Monday actually, wasn't it? Last Monday. Had a little bit of a fight. It's it's fine. At least now I'm in the position where I can use my hand and only have a plaster on. I Perfect. don't need to have the big bandage on, which kind of it, it, funny enough, it's amazing how, although this is the hand that I use, when you can't use it, how much out of action yeah. you are. Because I, I I couldn't do, I, d I did do one prep, the prep that I'd done yesterday for our slimline dies, I was saying to everyone how I prepped it on Tuesday and it took me all day oh, really? to do that one demo because my hand, were, they were all bandaged up and out of action. But yeah, no, I'm absolutely good now, absolutely fine, healing great, no issues at all, 
just please always make sure that your lid is on your craft knife if you've got it in a craft bag. Amazing. Um, question here yes. from Rosalind. I think this might take a little bit of... Makes my brain hurt a bit, this question, Craig, so I hope you can sort it out. Uh, it says, instead of cutting all four corners, could you cut two corners on a piece with the required length for one side? Uh, no, because it cuts out your card. Cuts out of the card. It okay, cuts brilliant. out your card. It cuts separate corners. So, so yeah. So, no. Because it cuts out your card, no, you're going to have to do them uh, individually. I know what you mean. Yeah. If it was one of those that cuts uh, into your card, then, yeah, you could do. You could just measure up your card stock and place your dies where you want, run them through. But because these actually create a separate die cut element, no. However corners, however borders you want, you're going to have to cut them individually. So Thank hopefully you know. that helps. So going back to the measurements just for a moment or so. So we've got our pattern paper, multi-purpose card, and our silver card stock. So what we've got is our base layer of our multi-purpose card stock is seven and a half by seven and a half. Okay, look. Then our silver mirror card, we've come down to seven inches by seven inches. Our white multi-purpose card stock, we've come down to six and three quarters by six and three quarters. And then our pattern paper, we've come to six and a half inches by six and a half inches. Our pattern paper is layered onto our multi-purpose with double-sided tape. And then our multi-purpose is layered onto our silver using foam pads. That's optional, that's up to you. If you want to keep it flat, you can do. And then these layers here, we've got our pattern paper, which is from the 12 by 12 that had the four panels. This one has been cut to five and three quarters by five and three quarters. And this one has been cut by six by six inches. This one and that one, we've gone around the edges with the pale fig. So that's where we are at, at the moment, including our four corners that we've just cut. Amazing. Uh, any other questions you want? Get them into me, Crafters TV. I've got on Facebook, Crafts Companion. I've got on YouTube. Christine Behe says, Hi from Altoona, Pennsylvania. Hi. Uh, watching while sitting with my husband while he gets his, uh, whilst he's having an uh, appointment. Uh, thank you for these shows. They help me pass the time. Uh, then when I get home, I want to go make cards. Amazing. Uh, Glad that we brilliant. inspire you. Patty says, I'm up this early because I have to be out today and not because I want to be up, but having you and Craig on together makes this early hour much less painful. Oh, thank oh, you. lovely. And that's the good thing with, with us is because we're so interactive as well. But even if we do the craft longs and we do it live, which is great, you've always got that option to go back any of our shows, which I love. You follow at your heart's content. So now that we've got our four corners, each of these, these all give you your scoring lines as well. So all that I'm going to do is I'm going to start to score. So the top one is a mountain, then it's a valley, and then it's a mountain again. So this is where you're, you're creating that concertina effect. So we'll show you from up above. So you've got a W, or if you go the other way, it looks a bit like an M, but you've got that concertina. So always be beneficial and worthwhile going in with your scoring tool, burnishing tool, and then burnishing all of the edges. Because what your concertina effect does is it gives you that spring-loaded effect. So it's nice to press. It's going to spring up. And then we can then come in here, work our way in, fold it in, burnish each time that you go. And at this point, what you can then do is if you wanted to have a piece of pattern paper into the back of your corner, you could do that. Maybe you want to take some of the vellums and just have a little piece of vellum into the corner. You can do that. You can start to layer up your corners as well. You don't need to keep them in the form That's that idea. they're designed, layer in, using them in. These could even be, so if you trimmed to these edges, you can tuck them around. That could be a photo corner for your scrapbook pages. So once again, think in the other ways, the other uses that you can get out of these ones. But we do the same when it comes to all four of them. 
If you need a helping aid when it comes to your score line by enhancing them on the scoreboard, by all means you can do. But you will find, even with our 300 GSM multi-purpose cardstock, they do naturally just want to fold into position because that's what the score lines are for. It's there to bend, stretch the fibres of the cardstock so that when you come to do it, it naturally wants to fold into position. So going in, going in. Always be a little bit careful when it comes to burnishing the die cut elements because you don't want something like your bone folder or scoring tool or that to catch and tear. But you're taking your time. And this is one of those parts, one of these stages where it's really beneficial to score them and manipulate them and press them. So we're doing exactly the same. I tend to fold them all together at first and then I'll come along and burnish them. If you want to do it a line at a time, you can do. Mary Beth says, maybe we need to do a retractable craft knife, Craig. <laughs> I know you do get some out there on the market. Uh, I'm one of those, I'm not, going to, I'm not going to say that they annoy me because they serve a purpose. But you know, it's one of those that you have to keep remembering to open it and then closing it, open it and closing it. Yeah. Whereas uh, having one that, as long as you use the lid the way it's meant yeah. to be used. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Uh, I couldn't believe I'd done that. Silly. Silly, silly. And I was speaking to, briefly, uh, Debbie Fisher about it, because the, the, the knife in question was our swivel blade craft knife. Right. Which I don't think I've ever used, our right. swivel one. You know, I, I use our That's why um, I got you. It was normal like, me? craft knife. I know. Yeah, I'd be like, hi, remember yeah. me? You've not used me yet. This will teach you a lesson. But yeah, that's the frustrating thing. Is it's not even if it's something that I use that I like to have in my craft night, in my craft bag just in case. But we, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a tough cookie. That won't stop me. All right. Uh, and there we go. So we've got all four of them, all with our uh, spring-loaded action. So what we're then going to do in a moment is, if I move that to the side, remember how I was saying how the way that they've designed that you've got that little V, and that's because when that one goes into place, it's, it's got area, it's got a place to hug it so that it forms into place. So this is where you've got that concertina effect. If you didn't have that, there'd be nothing for this panel to fall into. So all that we need to do for this one is I'm going to come in with my red liner tape. I'm going to go in with my six millimeter one. And then all that I need to do, so if we look at it this way, so onto the top left hand side, I'm going to put a little piece of our red liner tape. So I'm going to put my tape into place. I'm not going to attach it all just yet. We're going to pop it into place take a little break and then we can come back and then move into the next steps. But if we put in at least one piece at the moment, so let's go in to this one, up to the top, same place on all four of them. So again, if you need a bit of help reminding where it's going to go, if you sit them out in front of you, so this very top tab on the left hand side, that's where your piece of adhesive is going to go snip that off and then that's us then ready to move on to the next steps once we come back amazing uh if you've got any questions remember you can get them into me very easily uh, crafters tv over on facebook craft companion on youtube uh, Loris is talking about the midi does it have the same size opening as the junior i believe it does craig doesn't it? so yeah widthwise it does yeah widthwise yeah. it does yeah Perfect. just the only thing you can't do a couple of people ask is although your foil press platform goes through the junior uh, that won't go through the midi because it's not as thick widthwise widthwise it is just not as thick there you are. Uh, I hope that helps. Uh, remember, if you want to go for these concertina 3D border dies, if you haven't already gone for them, they are available to you right now. You'll be able to come back and do this craft along any time you like. Uh, here are the two different designs that you've got. So you've got the lace, and then we also have the vines. You're going to get both sets there. 1918, 2156 is your price on 
those ones. Uh, right, we're going to give you an opportunity to get yourself caught up whilst you do that. It's all the details of Club Inspire. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend and the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Quick buy. All your crafting must-haves in a flash. Make your die cutting tools last as long as your love for crafting with the Gemini Accessories Clear Cutting Plates. Your metal dies are put under lots of pressure with each pass through your Gemini die cutting machine. So to make sure they cut crisp, clean, delicate designs for years to come, you need to look after your dies. And that's where the Gemini Accessories Clear Cutting Plates come in. Quick buy. Get yours now. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Quiet. Ah, the neighbors. I'm all out of Zoom. I'm so lost without you. I'm not, I'm not singing. I'm not singing. Lisa, if you email in, don't send a picture of your air fryer. Make sure it's something creative. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us craft along and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community you entertain us you give us a community to talk you know in the chat that wouldn't happen without you guys it's like um crafters companion is magical there's magic here joy there's not a dry eye in the studio here <laughs> debbie's welling up i'm welling up there's a show for every type of crafter from first-time dabblers to full-time makers crafters tv create every day Right, I hope you've all managed to get yourself caught up there under that uh, short break. I must tell you about another one of our warehouse clearance deals as well. It's this uh, from our Year of Craft range. It's the Gift of Giving. Now, this is amazing because you get absolutely shed loads in here. 17.49 or 19.47. It's half price. I'm going to really quickly open it up for you. Oh, just in case uh, you've not seen this. They're kind of like the expansion pack to the... Um, I, really should have, I really should have thought about this, shouldn't I, before I... Oh, gosh, Craig... Oh no, no. Oh. oh no no no. Oh no no no. Oh, They're no, so no. full the box I can barely get it out. Oh Debbie. Oh there we go. And let me show you what's in here because you get four loads loads of it's so full it got stuck in the box. Bear in mind, put platinum was fourteen pounds and sixteen dollars to get I all know. of this. So you get full instructions. Now it works brilliantly with your Eurocraft, it also works amazingly as standalone. So you've got dies in here, ribbons, more dies. Check out the stamps. Massive. Oh, look. Works on against my T-shirt. Massive stamp sets uh, in here. We've got a load of sentiment stamps in there for you as well. Some beautiful florals. You're going to get shed loads of card blanks uh, and envelopes. There's also stencils in here. Uh, you've got memory book templates in there as well. Uh, printed papers, which are amazing. A load of die-cut sentiments too. There's loads of goodies in this one. Coloured card in there. And also a load of die-cut tags too. 
all of that. 1749.1997. If you want to use it alongside your Eurovive craft, it's going to be brilliantly. Also works really well on its own, but it is very busy. Hundreds of you are already going for this. So uh, do snap that one up. I don't know another one, but we're not sure we'll last to our latest nope. US where, uh, UK warehouse clearance. So um, I think, Craig, judging by the comments, Everyone seems just about caught up on tickety boo. If you are, I am indeed. I'll just be over here still packing this away. There's you so do, you stuff do in that, here. yeah, yeah. I'll come back to you once you've finished that. So it's going to take you a wee while, yeah. Right. What we're going to do is let's now have a look at the floral decoupage. So I thought with the craft along, it's framing everything. There goes that word again. It's framing. So we need something to frame. It could be a sentiment. It could be a topper. It could be a photo. But I thought, what a perfect way to frame our floral decoupage. So what I've used is I've used our beautiful lilies because the floral, the design, the colours, it just seemed to work really, really well with the Enchanted Dreams. So what I need is one of them. So I only need the one sheet. We do still have these uh, on our website. You can find them across on uh, thecrafterscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu. And we also need the coordinated dies to go with them. So we're going to take all of these ones off. And then what we can do is we can come in with the main die. We do have a number of shows across on YouTube you can go back and watch. If you've not seen our decoupage dies before, they really are quite simple. All that we're going to do is go in number one and then number two. So they've all got their own little tabs there so that you know where to pop them. So if we go in with number one and then we're going to position them so that for this one, the base one, you've got a white outline. So as long as you can't see the white outline, you know you're in place. If you do start to see that white line popping out, you, you, you know that you're kind of out of sync slightly. So we're going to pop that one on. And then we can then tape and secure. These will also all go through your midi. They'll go through the junior. And with these ones, if you were to chop your cardstock down, your images down into individual elements, they're even going to go through the mini and the go as well. So it's always fun having a, a, an option when it comes to die cutting the layers. Alternatively, if you're like me and you love your fussy cutting, they are an easy cut to fussy cut around. Indeed they are. Um, Patty says, I see Keith is back tomorrow. Better eat your Wheaties and have plenty of energy drinks on hand. He's like having the Tasmanian devil go through the tree. It really is. He has so much energy. He He's does. He's email Johnny to say how excited he is to be joining us. Tomorrow, so he'll be joining us throughout the day. Uh, Keith and Paper Dynamics will be here. Uh, wake up call, and then also tomorrow we have a. I'm just going to check what tomorrow's show is. It's a masterclass. Oh, with a foil yeah. press. Wait until you Hang see on. launch party. Foil press masterclass. That flash sale on the on the uh, foil press as well. That lasts up until the end of tomorrow, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So that means we have a foil press masterclass with a 40% saving on the foil press. Oh man, we're in for a treat tomorrow, we really are. Uh, and then of course, launch party. Uh, we've got a launch day coming up we on Wednesday as well, which is very, very exciting. Uh, Nonna says, good afternoon everyone. Finally able to actually watch the show and not just have you on in the background. Well, that's lovely. That's uh, great. Barbara says as well, Craig. Geesh, I was just wondering why Craig was folding all the corners. Why not have some ready to go? Then I remembered this is a craft along. <laughs> 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 yeah. Absolutely, it's all about us creating something together in real time. Exactly. Glennis asks as well, Craig, can you use the normal Gemini Junior plates in your MIDI? No. No, because no. your Gemini MIDI is folder base. Your yeah. Junior and your large Gemini are plate base. So, uh, no, you, you can't. Just use your folder. You'll be absolutely fine. You will find occasionally, for instance, I've done it earlier on, when I use my embossing folders with my MIDI, we did do it in wake up call. I did incorporate my metal shim just to give that little bit extra uh, thickness so that it's going to really stand out with that 3D emboss. But actual folders and plates, you can't use the folders for the Gemini Junior and you can't use the Gemini Junior plates for the MIDI. They, they, they wouldn't fit helps. anyway. They wouldn't fit, so it wouldn't oh, let nice. you. So now that we've done these ones here, and can I just say as well as we do have uh, a new pad launching tomorrow and launch party 
We do, and it's just been added over the last couple of days. I think it was Friday it was added. We are giving you a preview. Oh. Can I see what the preview is? Oh, I've not seen it yet. It's tomorrow. tomorrow. What is it, a preview? This is a preview of the preview of the... It is. We have got our very own Spectrum Noir, oh. top quality, Gildan Flakes. Oh! Not just gold, silver or copper. There we go, straight in my basket. When I say coloured, is so, so extremely hard. You look out in the market how very rare it is to find coloured Gildan flakes. We are giving you a preview tomorrow of Ooh. what we've got coming very, well, very soon. on the bottom with the Woman's Weekly. That's exciting, Craig. So do make sure that you tune in to myself and Joe. Johnny, it's you and Charlotte as well tomorrow, isn't it? Yes, for a fab launch day. We're not launching them tomorrow. We're giving you the preview. The preview. Lurching. Uh, lurching? No, they won't be lurching. Uh, launching on the 3rd of May, which is what? Next week, isn't it? Next, yes. Next Tuesday with me then, actually. i uh, really looking forward to that. So let's bring in these bits here. So, yes, so that's going to be a really fun and exciting launch party tomorrow. But we do have something lovely and fun and Glorious that is launching tomorrow. Mm. You'll have to join us tomorrow and mm -hmm. find out. Uh, launch party will be here tomorrow, 6 p.m. in the UK, 1 o'clock on the East Coast, 10 a.m. Uh, if you are over on the West Coast. Don't miss that. Righty, oh, so let's go in with our die cut elements. So we've got all of our pieces good to go. So we've got one, we've got two, we've got one, three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my 3D foam pads. You can, of course, use your glue gel if you want to. And you can shape them if you want. That's up to yourself. But all that I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my foam pads. We're going to then start to layer up. These ones are being three millimeter ones. So if you manage to get last week's Get It Got It Good, you got three millimeter ones within your bundle. But really handy to have. So we're going to go in each individual bit. And you'll find across on our YouTube, Joe, we have, um, and well, I have on a number of occasions on past shows, I've shown you how you can take the floral decoupage and you can actually create more than just the six layers. You know, you can add extra layers if you mm. want to. Add your own uh, depth by fussy cutting into separate layers. You can do that. But this is just a nice way, using the uh, concertina dies to frame something. So let's go in. Let's take that. And then last, but by no means least, we can go in with this one here. And we're going to go into that one there. And then that is those ones layered up. So let's do layer these ones just now. Very, very simple in the fact of they're easy to follow. You find some decoupage out there that can be hard to tricky. It can be like a tricky jigsaw, you know, when you're trying to match up. But these are very, very simple. We're going to then have a look. Do you know what I'm going to do? It's always a bit clearer if I do it onto the black. There we go. We should actually come out with a black glass. Hey, that's a good idea. Oh, <gasps> oh a black glass mat. Black glass mat. Oh, a penny's just dropped there. Or maybe a purple one. How about like a purple one, which the colours, like the colours... A deep, the, yeah. With, yeah. A, with maybe white lines on it rather than uh, purple lines. You're right, because you'll have seen me sometimes... Let's just do it just off skew for just a second, but you'll have seen me sometimes, if I'm not using the black, I'll use the deep purple, so it shows off, you mm. can see the outline there, so yeah, a purple one nice. would work as well. Mm. We're, uh, we're about to have a product development thing coming up soon. When is the next day? We have, a, we have like open days, don't we? We do have, have we open days, don't we? Suggest our ideas, which can't is be long. Awesome. Can't, be, can't be far off. Can't be far off, no. Not at all. There we go. Let's layer that one on here into place. If you've got maybe your stamens for your flower form, and you can always start to tuck these ones in as well. It's all about texture. Texture within your projects. So let's take that one off. And then I'm going to layer that one that way. 
and oh, let's just move that up. I always find that there's always that myth with the foam pads when people will say you can't shape your die cuts if you're using foam pads. You absolutely can do. What I would do is if you want to shape that like you would do before you use your glue gel, shape it as normal and then only have a foam pad within the centre of your die cut. You're still going to get that curvature, you're still going to get that shape. But you can absolutely do that. So let's press that one in, give it a good press and now we've got our decoupage. All lovely, all glorious. If you want to come in with your uh, clear overlay, you could do maybe little dots with some gilding flakes of that to make it subtle. You absolutely can do glossy as highlights. well. Glossy well. highlights as well. That's a really good option for you to do that too. So what we can do is let's then come back in with our layers. So that will sit nicely within the middle. But what we can do is if we go back in to our four corners. So we've got our layer. We've got our four corners. And then all that I'm going to do at this point here is taking the backing off. So if I take that one off to the back there, and then I'm going to fold that one over as if you are doing corner to corner with the box. So we're going to press, and that's your corner done. So simple to create that concertina effect. So that's the thickness that you're going to get, but if you put that into a padded envelope as you press down. Now, it's not going to be completely flat, mm. but however, going for something that's so dimensional to being able to then go flat into an envelope or a box, it's fab to have that option. So you've got that one, and then we can take this one, and then I'm not sure if maybe, if after I've done these four corners, if we want another quick break for anyone that needs to catch up on the decoupage, Absolutely. But let's press that one in. We're going to do the same within that one there. So we're going to tuck that one in, tucking in as if, as if you're matching corner to corner with the box. As we fold that one in to here, press that one in, push, and then take this last one, lift it. Something like this, my my go-to tends to be the red liner. You could be using your tacky glue, although in saying that, as uh, Johnny was asking earlier on when it came to my double-sided tape, you could use your tape runner and you could use your tape runner for the corners as well. But that gives us our four corners, which will then tuck in to all four corners in a moment. That's going to create that framed highlight and all the way there, framing it into the middle. And that's how it's going to start to come together and see how lovely that white starts to set it off. Amazing. There we go. Absolutely incredible. Uh, Alison says, uh, can I ask to see the Nature's Garden mystery bag as I will be out at 6 p.m.? Thanks, absolutely. Seeing as you are so beautifully, yes, why not, Alison? Let's have a little look at this. Very, very busy for this over on the website at the moment. Remember, these mystery bags are one per customer because uh, the value is so tremendous in them. Let me whiz through what you're going to get in here then. Uh, you're going to be receiving one of our wax seals, which is fantastic. Uh, you will also get some items from our uh, farmhouse collection. So this one here is a seed packet. Uh, you've also got in there as well this one, which is awesome. May your day bloom. That's a fantastic. A set of stamps and dies. Very versatile, that one. Something from, of course, the Secret Garden. We've also got some awesome stamps from the Beautiful range. You've got some sentiments coming your way uh, in here too. You've also got these, uh, some die-cut toppers you'll be receiving. You'll be getting some dies from the Autumn Blessings. We've also got, as well, this one here, which is your gnome. So some gorgeous stamps and also some dyes and stencils coming up for you in there as well. £75 almost, almost $90 is what you saved there before you think about using uh, your Club Inspire discount as well. We're going to, I'll quickly show you as well the foil press one, because this one just here, whoa! My oh my, this is going fast. 60% of this one has already sold out and gone. No wonder why, because these dyes on their own, these stamped up, oh gosh, I knew I was going to knock them off the sheet, Craig. 
Okay. It was going to happen, wasn't it? Uh, these are worth £45 on their own, which is amazing. And you're going to receive these uh, in your mystery bag. Definitely. So you've got your numbers and your upper and lowercase alphabets in there, which is brilliant. They are going to be so, so versatile. So really, I mean, you, it's like you've got a £15 discount on those and you're getting everything else totally free of charge. One of our really lovely big stamp dies, one of the sentiment ones. I remember Craig and I launching these. We're so incredibly busy. You've also got the borders and corners coming in there too. Lots of um, lots of foils for you as well. So you're going to get the papercraft foil. We're going to give you the Aurora, one that I struggle to say. Uh, you've also got in here your Silver Shimmer and you'll also get the shiny Disco shiny. Balls as well. That's your Disco Ball uh, in there. My Disco Ball helmet is on the way. It's been shipped, Craig. I bought a Disco Ball um, sight, like a motorbike helmet, but it looks like a big disco ball. Can't wait. Uh, you've also got some sentiments in here as well. So you've got party and your invitation in this particular one, and you're going to get uh, some of the finger grips in there too. So all of that, if bought individually, should be almost £105 or $127. Platinum members today, £24, $32. Don't forget that the foil press is available with a 40% saving as well. So what a great combination going for that alongside your foil press is going to be fabulous. Let's also share with, we're on a roll here, might as well do them all, Johnny, haven't we? Uh, let's share with you that Sharon Callis uh, mystery bag, which is on the show. Some gorgeous ones in here. Again, these work so well as part of the collection, they but do. I love the fact that you can just split them out. I mean, Fresh that works really well on its own. A really lovely big stamp and die combination there on those beautiful butterflies. These were so popular. These are some of um, the Sharon Callis succulent range the quilling flowers that's your baby aloe that you've got just there uh, you've also got these stamps and dies as well now uh, these are your uh, these are also from the succulents range too and they are called succulents so you've got a really lovely selection of stamps and dies in there these are also um really versatile. Well. these are your uh, gift and pot labels that you've got there but really just a little, a little banner or, or tag dies really some nice big stamps in here. So friendship, uh, there you can see a really big stamp, but you've also got lots of different embellishing elements within there too. And then some really lovely uh, big stamps and dies for the Flower Fairies range. So uh, you've got your rose and you've also got the aster in there. Again, that should be almost £105 or $124. Today, £30 or $40. Don't miss out on that one. And we also have a soft craft mystery bag for you too. Let me take you through this. So you've got some wonderful stencils in there, which is rather marvellous. Uh, then what also we've got is some of our cork fabric in here. You're going to get some of our faux leather fabric. Uh, there's also a, um, I want to say stencil, it's not the word, pattern uh, in here too, which is your trendy tote. We've got some shape cutters in there, some multimedia dies, and... We've also got a quilting pattern guide as well. All of that, again, over £105 or $135, uh, you've got a great, great saving there. You're getting $95.69 off of that if you are uh, across the pond, which is amazing. We may as well just do the lucky dip as well, Johnny, isn't we, while we're here? We've showed you all the bags then. One second. Let me just get that back in there. Uh, so we've also got the lucky dip now. I, ob I obviously put it somewhere safe. There it is. Uh, so, with the Lucky Dip, the way these work, we did have a £1 dollar one, we also had a £5 dollar one, they have both sold out. Good news is we've still got the £3 or dollar one. Now what you're able to do is actually put four of these into your basket, and for everyone you put in your basket, we will send you a Lucky Dip of some of these items. So if you put up to four in, we can guarantee you won't get any duplicates. If you put more than four in, you may get some duplicates, but you could be getting some gorgeous stamps, perfect for colouring. Maybe some incredible stamps and dyes, one of our fabulous embossing folders. Maybe it'll be some of our interchangeable changeable dies or even some of our sentiments i haven't seen that particular one for a really really long time three pounds or three dollars each you can still use your club inspired discount even on these mystery bags and uh, lucky dips which is amazing uh right craig let's just double check if we've got any questions coming in uh, la, 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 la. uh thank you joe it's in my basket now um you are more than welcome uh oh no connie's an hour late to class sorry professor craig and joe oh, no. but good morning 
Um, Diana says as well, my sister made me a beautiful purple quilt for my upcoming 60th birthday. How lovely. Uh, she says, this is giving me some great ideas uh, to make some wall decor for my bedroom mm. using the Enchanted Dreams collection. Mm. Uh, lovely flowers, a sensational sky as well. And Veronica's talking about the midi. She says, my daughter, 14, saved up her pocket money uh, and bought herself a midi because she was terrified Aww. of using my daddy Gemini. She has a field day now doing her own thing without having to bother me. Win, win, win for when, her, win, win for you by the sounds of it, uh, Veronica. Uh, no questions about the craft along though, Craig, so I can only presume everyone is following along just fine. Fab, let's do it then, let's continue. So what we can do is let's go back in now with our main layer. So we've got our main layer, we've got our centre layer here, and we're going to go back in with our four corners. Now, if you go back on and watch the launch shows and when they've been on please remember as well it's not just the corners that you get you do get the option to make them longer you've got your framed options here so these are the ones that would then go in between so you can then make them longer you've got a smaller one as well if you wanted to you can elongate them together so so versatile but if you do just want to use them individually like i tend to do and that's what I find with these ones. Although we've got the options of doing your center framed die cuts, I've been using them just as corner ones alone because I love the effect of them singly. So what I'm going to do is, because we're going to tuck these into each corner, into the corner, the backs of each part, we're going to go in and we're going to use our tape. So either using your tacky glue, your tape runner, that's entirely up to yourself. I'm going in with my double-sided tape, as we know by now, and all that I'm going to do is put some tape into the corners here. So this is the back of our main topper layer. So we can then go in, we can then take the backings off. I would do one at a time. So if I take one corner, and then what we're going to do is I prefer to do them kind of like upside down, back to front. So instead of trying to slot that inwards, so I get it in the right position, what I tend to do is then I then come in and press, making sure I'm at a right 90 degree angle. And then once I'm there, I press to commit. So I give it that really good press. And then we can move on to the next one. And we can take these ones off and I do exactly the same. So I follow all the way around and then I make sure that I get it into a 90 degree corner and then when I'm happy. If you really don't have much confidence when it comes to a wet, a dry glue, so your double sided tape, your red liner tape, your tape runner, this is the part you could use your tacky glue if you want to. Gives you a little bit of wiggle room, a little bit of maneuverability, but if you're absolutely fine with getting it in place, you can then go in with your dry adhesives. So getting them into the corner and then pressing. And then last but by no means least, what we can do is take this one and we're going to do exactly the same. And then next I can show you the slight difference as to why I like to pop my little corners onto the back of this patterned layer and not onto my mat and layer. So if I bring this in, if I flip that over now, we've got our beautiful four corners. Now, if, when I go and pop that into place, because we've tucked them into the back of the pattern paper, we get our full white matte and layer all the way around. So it's continuing that frame. So therefore, what we can do now is go back in with your choice of adhesive, I'm using my double-sided tape. It is on the website. It is called finger lift tape if you are looking for it. So work our way around. And what it's also doing is it's stabilizing the back. Although you've secured them with your adhesive, because we are overlapping all of the folds with our double-sided tape, it's securing it. It's making it strong and it's making it sturdy. So then we're going to do the same. We're going to take the backing off there and then if you do love your double-sided tape with your mats and layers, if you're sometimes a bit wary about getting it in the right place, what to do is take just the corner off, fold it back, take the corner, fold it back, and then take the corner and fold it back. This gives you wiggle room, 
but on a dry adhesive form. So what we can do is we can then hover, we can get it into place, but because the full backing isn't off, it means if it catches, I'm able to release it from my cardstock. So once I'm happy with my frame, I'm going to hold it in, I'm going to press, and then all that I'm going to do is lightly pull the tabs out. Oh, perfect. Pull them out, pull them out, and then pull it out. And then what we can do is let's pop it over, let's press, and we've got our perfectly framed concertina layer. So it is as if it's like a box, but you've got that concertina corner, you've got that frame, you've got that elegance, you've got that sophistication. But then if you look from up above there, we can see how we can then press and how flat that goes in comparison with being like that one. So then what we can do is bring this one in and then let's bring this one in. So this, I'm going to go on with more foam pads foam pads or glue gel being optional. But because mine is going into a box frame, the box frame allows for the amount of depth and layers that you've got. If it's going onto a card blank, you might want to keep it completely flat. That's again, entirely up to yourself. But going in with our foam pads. Equally, if you had your A4 foam pad sheets, you could be using them if you want. But then what we can do is we can come in and then I'm going to hover just for a second to get it into place. And then what I'm going to do is I've got a selection of gems from my stash here. I'm going to go in, might either use silver gems, might go in for these lilac petals. I've got a few other ones as well, my stash of gems. Uh, let's go in. What, what do you think, Joe? Do you, what do you, do you think... I quite like the um, purple ones, if I'm honest, Craig. The purple pearls? Yeah. Yeah? Purple pearls, or yeah. Do, or do you want kind of like lilac purple gems? Ooh. I think pearls. What do you pearls? think? Pearls? Don't, don't, don't let me sway you. No, no, no not project. at all. That's why I brought them all out, because I hadn't decided. Because oh. so, Leanne always asks me and then goes with the complete opposite the different, to what no, I, I say. will go with what you like. Oh, amazing. Yeah? Purple pearls it is. Pur yeah. Right, yeah, we'll go silver gems then. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so we're going, we're going to go in with these ones here. Now, my ones, they've got self-adhesive on them. They could be hunky-dory ones, whatever ones. And I say the same. It doesn't matter how incredible high quality your gems, your pearls are that are self-adhesive. I will always add a little bit of the tacky glue just to reinforce them. So all that I'm going to do, kind of splodged out there, is just do three little dots, and then I'm going to come in with my little pearls here. So let's pop one into place. And I want to try and get the same size. These are actually, incidentally, um, Dawn Bibby's ones. So I am still on at her for the next time that she's here. She's going to do her absolute best to get the selection of gems and pearls when she's next here. So for anyone that's wondering where I use mine from, as well as hunky dories, these ones are hers. So fingers crossed, we'll get them coming. And then what I'm going to do is because in these ones, the lace ones, I've got little areas that you can add little embellishments. So I'm going to go in same sized ones and I'm just going to add a little drop there. Equally, this could be your Nouveau drops. So if you've got any of your new Nouveau drops from when Jodie's here, it could be them if you want to, or maybe any of your comic sh Cosmic Shimmer products. It could be them. Let's pick that one up into play. And that tacky glue will stop them from pinging off, you know, occasionally onto your, you know, if you've got them on the mantelpiece or the fireplace. And that, I'm, I'm happy with the three there and the four around the corner. Tell you what I will do just into here. I'm going to do three tiny little dots because I do have some tiny, tiny little pearls. So let's do one, two, and then three. And then it's the case of layering it onto our base layer and then layering it into our box frame. 
Amazing. Uh, a lot of love coming in for this so far, Craig. Uh, Pam E says, gorgeous car. Definitely the pearls. That's so pretty. Craig explains everything so well, says Alison. Nonna says as well. Thank you, guys. Absolutely loving the pearls. I appreciate it. And I said that yesterday as well. And I spoke to you about it as well, Joe. I? Sometimes I don't always feel I explain things the best way. Oh, I think so you it's do. nice when you guys at home will, will say little things like that. It's, it's nice. It's a nice little uh, feeling knowing that I do explain it really, really well. And then what we can do is let's go and I'm going to tuck that onto the back. I'm going to add more pads. We're going to tuck this one in. He loves a foam I pad. I love my foam pad. Now, I would not be doing this amount of foam pad layers if I was popping it onto a card blank. I'm doing it because I've got that box frame. That frame is quite thick in depth, so it's allowing all of the layers that I've got. I really need to get some more of my larger foam pads, but here we go. So, going in, so if I take these ones off, take them off, and either your glue gel, your tacky glue, something like that We work a treat. There we go, work our way around. Always remember when it comes to foam pads, you can use your foam pads as additional embellishments as well. So for instance, Gildan Flakes, pop a foam pad square or a rectangle or whatever shape foam pad you're using into maybe the corner of your card, sprinkle Gildan Flakes on it, rub it off, and you've got that sort of uh, silvered metal gem look to nice. it. So it's nice to be able to do that. So what I can do then is I'm going to come in and I'm going to set that in to the middle. We're going to press that into place. And then last, but by no means least, before we pop it in our frame, I'm going to bring in my ribbon. So this ribbon is nine millimetres in width. And we're going to tie our bow. So let's do our technique with our bunny ears. So we'll do our bunny ears, cross them over, and then we're going to tuck this one under. And then we're going to pull. I put my thumbs in there just to stretch them out. If you want to make even more of a big statement piece with real thick, bulky ribbon, you absolutely can. I like that subtleness of a lilac satin ribbon. It's always my choice to go to anyway, nine times out of 10, the satin ribbon for projects. But then we can have a play, get it to the length that we want. I don't want it too, too big, but on the other hand, I don't want it too small. So let's just trim that away. And then I'm going to cut it at an angle. Cut it at an angle. I'm actually going to make that a bit shorter. Yeah, make it a little bit shorter. So cut and then cut. That's going to sit there. If I left my hot glue gun on, oh no, I'll switch my glue gun off, typical. Right, let's get my glue gel. Uh, here was me trying to get organised earlier on, I switched off the wrong thing. Here we go. So if I go in with my glue gel now, just use my pokey tool. That can go into here. Press that in. I'm going to pull it down. Tuck that in. So we've got our bow. And then if I bring my frame in, Let's pop out the one that I've just subtly got sitting. You can tell it's an old frame. And then this can then go into the back. So what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to go in with my tacky glue. Can use your double-sided tape, red liner tape, but because I want this to actually dry into the fibres of that mount that's underneath, I can then go in. I'm going to pop that in to place, get it where I want. Press, I'm just going to have to hover on my tiptoes a bit. Bring it in, get it into position, layer it up, and then I'm going to press. Maybe glue gel would be better, but let's hold it. And then I, you'll have noticed, of course, because my hands are in it, I've taken out the plastic or the glass that was on it. But if you wanted to keep that in, you can do. But then let's press, press, and then there we go. 
How that awesome is that? Lovely. 3D box frame that we've done using the concertina corridors, really, really making a statement piece out of this. So it didn't hold back on the layers, didn't hold back on the dimension. That could easily just be on an 8x8 card blank or a 7x7 card blank, but being able to incorporate it into a home decor, give it as gifts, put it onto your craft stalls, sell it, get your box frames inexpensively. I think that was like three, four ninety nine out of um, the uh, Swedish store. Um, so yeah, do that. Have a look, see what frames you've got, see how you can then upcycle them and then pop your crafty makes inside. Amazing. If you've been crafting along uh, with Craig, then we'd love to see what you've ended up creating. You can send us pictures of your creations to studio at craftscompanion.co.uk. Details are there on the bottom of your screen, uh, which is amazing. So get those into us. What we're going to do, we're just going to share with you again. So if you've watched the crafting, you thought, gosh, I really need those uh, dies, and you can go for them right now. And you can watch this craft along back anytime you like, which is rather fabulous. You've got the vines there, and you'll also get the lace as well, which is fantastic. You're getting both of them there included for that fantastic price, 23.98 or 26.95. Right, we're going to take a really short pause, give you an opportunity to get yourself finished. Then we're going to come back and remind you of some of those Awesome warehouse clearance deals. Uh, of course, our UK warehouse clearance coming up this evening uh, at 6 p.m. here in the UK, which is 1 p.m. on the East Coast, 10 a.m. for you West Coasters. Uh, whilst you get finished off, uh, here's all the details of US shipping. Take a look. We've had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular six to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new express three to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Quick buy, all your crafty must-haves in a flash. Draw, decorate, and customize your world with the colorful Spectrum Noir acrylic paint markers. Each premium paint marker gives opaque coverage on ceramic, glass, wood, and let's not forget paper, cardstock, and canvas. These versatile markers are filled with highly pigmented premium water-based paint offering beautiful, rich, and smooth coverage. The colors can be blended together and the fast drying opaque paint is ideal for layering. A three millimeter bullet tip offers smooth strokes and a precision valve mechanism allows rich and consistent flow with no clogging. Quick buy, all your crafty must-haves in a flash. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Quiet. Ah, oh, the neighbors. I'm all out of Zoom. I'm so lost without you. I'm not, I'm not singing, I'm not singing. Lisa, if you email in, don't send a picture of your air fryer. Make sure it's something creative. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us. You give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. Uh, that wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like, um, Crafter's Companion is magical. There's magic here. Joy, there's not a dry eye in the studio here. <laughs> Debbie's welling up, I'm welling up. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafter's TV, create every day. 
There we are. Right, keep those pictures coming in. We would love to see what you have been creating. You're right, Craig. Good, good. Um, I want to remind you, we've got uh, about 30 minutes worth of warehouse deals we can showcase uh, for you. So I want to remind you of this. It's the Eclipse Stamping Craft Kit that is available to you. There is a whole host of these craft kits available, all at half price. I've never seen them this low. I've seen them at 14.99, 15 pounds before, when we have a really special show, like a Sarah Cartload or something like that. Not seen them this low, so definitely snap them up. Platinum price here at 9.99, whether you're shopping in the UK or, or the US. And each one of these boxes, as always, is absolutely jam-packed with crafting goodies. So in here, you're gonna get 26 dies, 24 card blank, 24 envelopes, 24 acrylic stamps. Uh, you're going to get 24 sheets of coloured card, 24 sheets of uh, printed papers. You're also going to get the ribbons and 100 self-adhesive gems in there as well. It is absolutely chock-a-block jam for this one. Uh, and, uh, of course, 24 projects you're going to be able to make. The other great thing about this as well is you've got full video tutorials available to you over on the website, uh, which is crafterscompanionbox.com. Make sure you're also heading over and joining the Facebook group too because there's lots of inspiration over there for you as well. I do need to let you know, however, half of this has already gone and there's a lot of you with this in your basket at the moment over on the website. When we give you any kind of update here at Crafters TV, well, I can tell you that half has gone. That is people that have actually checked out uh, and um, have secured this. It's not really yours until you get it checked out. So if that one's in your basket, please do think about checking that one out. The other one I want to share with you is this. Uh, is your statement sentiment dies. These are really brilliant. You've got two dies in here. So you've got two really big substantial dies uh, in there. You've got happy birthday and with love. So two, you're gonna get absolutely loads of use out, which is brilliant. Uh, you've also got, so um, your two metal dies, you've got stamps in here. You've also got 24 card blanks and envelopes, assorted ribbons, colored card, printed paper, and 100 crystal gems as well. Again, full video tutorials available on that one too. That's number 41. Uh, the previous one I showed you was number 29. Uh, so there are those who are very busy on both of those at the moment. But Craig has got even more. I do indeed. Right, Theo, let's have a look. So we're going to have a look at 37. So this one being number 37, which is all about the pop-out characters here. So you've got the stabs and you've got the dies that will last you a lifetime, as will all of the uh, elements within each of the boxes between myself and Joe. Uh, within this one here, it creates that, creates that pop-out feature. So you've got the bunny rabbit, you've got <coughs> the bear as well. Makes 24 cards because you've got your 24 envelopes as well as the card blanks, but you've got over 200 10 elements that's including the perils printed paper you've got the stamps colored cardstock you've got some ribbon in this one as well as the envelopes card blanks and the metal die to create the pop out so that one there being the pop out characters use your tri blends classic sparkle pens aqua pens that's up to you but that's a really really good fun one for you to use certainly for the kiddies but they're also really fun and they're really easy to create that pop out feature so that one being 37 what we'll do is we'll show you this one now be number 42. This one's all about the ribbon threading. So this is a very, very versatile box because you've got the ribbon thread and dies, but you can do your ribbon thread and straight into your card stock or you have your outer die. So then you can create your ribbon thread and panels as a separate element, but use them as an edgeable, maybe use them as a top fold, lots of ways in which you can use the ribbon thread and dies. You don't even have to thread the ribbon, you can do threads of paper or cardstock if you want to. But this one gives you the ability to make 18 cards minimum because of the card blanks, you can make so much more with the dies. Over 95 elements. You've got the metal dies, you've got the clear stamps, you've got the card blank and envelopes, you've got the sorted ribbon that works perfectly, you've got your colour card pack, and you've also got the printed papers as well. All of these ones, when it comes to the craft kits, are 8 by 8 in size and they're all a mat, which means you can emboss them, you can ink them, distress them, spritz them, and you can do all that different fun as well on top of them. Amazing, snap that up, 9.99 if you're a Platinum member, regardless uh, of where you're shopping, which is fabulous. Craig has got even more though. I do, let's carry on with myself then. So this one being number 44. So this one's all about the sentiment edgeables. 
So these give you that lovely elegance to the edge of your cardstock or your project. But what these also do as well is these give you an inner sentiment die. So within this one, you've got the choice of special friend or happy birthday. They're both included, but you just need to choose which one you want on your border. Or you might just want your decorative border without the sentiment. That's up to you. Or you might want to use the sentiment on its own. That's up to you. Makes a minimum of 18 cards because of the cards and envelopes. Over 195 elements in total. Depending on the size, the strip of the cardstock you use, they will go through your really small die cutting machines. But everything in total here uh, is then giving you the metal dies, it's giving you the clear stamps. Then you've got your card blanks, your envelopes, your assorted ribbon, you've got perils, you've got your printed card, and you've also got your patterned paper as well. So with the dies, keep a hold of them, look after them and you can start to use them for so 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 long but well, a lifetime basically that's that one and then last but by no means least with the ones that i've got is number 54 and this is a create a card panel craft box here you know i love my big background panel dies this is a really really fun to, one to get creative with so within this one here you've got the ability to make 16 cards here because of the cards and envelopes you've got but you've got over a hundred elements the panel dies are decorative and cut in you have the outline mat and layer dies to then create your separate element when it comes to your die cuts. Within this fill box here, you've got your metal dies, you've got your clear stamps. So that's your non-consumable items. Then your consumable items, you've got your card blanks, your envelopes, you've got sorted ribbon, you've got colored card pack, you've even got some black card stock within this one here. You've got white card stock, you've even got some vellums as well as the printed papers. So there's so much within this one here. One of my absolute favorites as well, but because you've got your wafer thin dies there, they're going fit on the foil press and do all these different techniques as well that one being number 45 but these are all i mean for that price for all of them being that price individually that's bonkers absolutely mm. bonkers great value and it's really nice to have a deal across all of the craft kits too so make sure you head over to the website craftscompanion.co.uk.com.eu hit the shop the day button remember everything is there for the entire day now and you'll be able to see all of the craft boxes that we have available for you very very busy across lots of them at the moment we'll hopefully be able to feature those for you in that later warehouse clearance remember that's all happening at 6 p.m here uh, in the uk uh 1 p.m on the east coast or 10 a.m. Uh, if you are over on the West Coast. Right, I want to tell you about this. It's the amazing Gemini foil press. Now, this is a sensational deal. I wish you could see what's going on. You can hear him scuttling around on the floor uh, down here. He is like a little burglar raiding me uh, from my goodie bags. Uh, this is amazing. Now, I've never seen this personally with a 40 percent discount which is absolutely huge the idea that you can get a gemini foil press for 60 pounds if you're here uh, in the uk 47.99 if you're a platinum member is available in the us as well which is awesome it's the other machine for you when you are on the website if you're on the us website you're only going to see the us version if you're on the uk website you're only going to see the uk version there is less less than 75 units of the us machine now to go around. You are going to have to be quick if you want it. Hundreds of you going for it today already. 83.97 or of course 67.18 if you are a platinum member. The other great thing is even though we've given you a 40% discount off of this, we're still going to include all the stuff we would uh, if you were coming to us at 139.95. We're not charging you that, charging you 40% less but still including everything. So you've got the base station in here, the foiling platform, your top plate, metal shim. You're also going to get the cooling mat, the tweezers, the finger grips. You've got foil in here as well. You're also going to give you some foil stamp and cut dies and some foil stamp dies to get you started plus the instruction manual and everything else uh, that you should need. Remember, it works for a whole multitude of different surfaces as well. Uh, things like craft, uh, cork, you can use it onto ribbon, fabrics, there's loads of stuff, acetates, vellums, all your different card stocks as well. It's a really versatile system. And if you already own a Gemini Junior, this is so easy and simple. It's like an upgrade uh, on your Gemini Junior. It's a hot foiling system as well to really give you those great long lasting results, which is fantastic. But the perfect match for this has to be, surely Craig, 
a uh, foil press mission bed. And don't forget, foil press masterclass tomorrow exactly. as well with us. So what better time to grab hold of this? Yeah, absolutely. And to reiterate what was said as well, this is it will, all works together in the fact of I've not got set demos already done and prepped tomorrow. So therefore, if you're getting oh, the foil press today... we wear our shirts today, tomorrow? We could do if you want. Mm. Yeah, we could do. I haven't worn it for ages. So if you get your foil press today, if you get the mystery bag today, if you've got any set questions, uh, we've got incredible deals coming up in the masterclass as well tomorrow with the foil press. So we'll be able to answer any questions that you've got, how to do things, sort things, rectify things. So get hold of your foil press. If you've got the foil press, get hold of the mystery bag. Uh, if you don't fancy the mystery bag for whatever reason, get your foil press ready, tune in tomorrow and we can go over it all. But this is your foil press mystery bag here. £30, $40, but even on a platinum price, £24 or $32. What you're going to be getting is you're going to be getting your heatproof finger grips here. This is the only item that you will duplicate from your foil press bundle. You do get a set in there. Does no harm having an extra set because you can use some of your flower forming or your hot glue if you want to. But then we've got our invitation foil press stamp. Think of it onto vellums. Think of it onto your satin ribbons or ganza ribbons if you want to. Likewise for your party foil press sentiment there different materials that you can do that on. That could be onto a little goodie bag, onto a little sweetie bag, you know, for the end of a party if you wanted to. You can be doing that. So we've got your Leon border and corner as well. So maybe you might want to, instead of using the concertina dies from earlier on, you might just want to foil four corners, fussy cut them out, and then pop them into your card or your project. You can do that but you've got the corner and the border that complements. You've got your huge, big, solid thank you foil press stamp as well. So it's the whole background that foils, not the actual sentiment, which is really, really fab to see. Then what we're also giving you is three full rolls of paper craft foil. We've got our silver shimmer, we've got our disco ball, and we've got our Aurora. So when it comes to all of the colours, certainly from the silver, these are three of the most popular colours that we've got. These are the paper craft foil, and these are the ones that you are going to be using about 95% of the time when it comes to the materials. So even though it's paper craft foils, you're going to be using these ones for so many of your materials. And if that wasn't good enough, you're also getting your foil press full, uppercase, lowercase, and it's your amazing numbers. amazing to get all of those in there. These alone are worth £45. £45 alone, and you're getting these ones included as well. Good, substantial size. Off the top of my head, when we had a look at the letter M earlier on in the uppercase, it was like one inch by one inch. So really big, sizable ones. Personalise your cards, your projects, your wedding invitation, your wedding invites, party invites, uh, new baby, all of these you'll be able to then personalise. Worth £45 on its own, but everything there, that whole lot, you're going to be getting platinum price, £24 or $32. That is absolutely incredible it is a stonking great deal stonking. that one isn't it really is, all of those uh, mystery bags are amazing value that one particularly so craig would you mind uh we're gonna do card of the day right now because we're not gonna be doing any demos in the warehouse trips so uh it's going to be between i think you're gonna win today craig i think so i really do so it's either between this craig's demo from a little earlier today number one yes or do you want to show us your craft along as well craig or craig's craft along which is number two i think i know what's going to win i uh, bet you have got the opportunity mm -hmm. to cast your votes right now crafters uh, tv over on facebook crafters companion across on youtube now what I love about this warehouse clearance is the UK warehouse clearance is a lot of the time someone tells you bring your older products, clearance lines, things that you want to clear through. What we're actually doing is because we are moving warehouses here in the UK, we're just trying to clear as much stuff as possible. Well, that, what that means is we're able to bring you really awesome deals on fairly recent launches. I mean, this is a very recent launch. It is, of course, the vintage butterflies that I'm talking about at the moment. 
an absolutely gorgeous collection. It is, I believe, your best ever price uh, on this, saving you, believe it or not, $71.34 in the UK, or $88.59. You will get free shipping and handling on this in the US, free postage and packaging if you are here in the UK. So you're gonna get your 12 by 12, you will also get that in the six by six size, and you will get 24 uh, of the vellums in there as well. And these all coordinate and match beautifully with the papers that you've got there too. We also have for you the luxury card pack. You've got four different colours. You get six sheets of each. So 24 total there in that particular one. Let's move on. Some lovely consumable elements or embellishing elements in this particular collection. You've got elegant lace. You've actually got real lace there in that amazing butterfly design. We have got the butterfly charms for you as well. It's kind of hard for you to see, but they're like an enamel, uh, which is really lovely. And then what we've also got is the resin brads as well. Now, these are fantastic. They've actually got tiny, tiny little sort of vintage style butterfly images on the inside of each of every one. Tiny, tiny little buttons. They're really, really cool. Those ones, you can just about make that out there, can't you? Really awesome. So you're gonna get those included. You are then, of course, going to receive as well, this one here, now this is your opulent edge, so a wonderful edgeable. We then also have, as well, your sentiments. So you've got sending you butterfly kisses, butterfly wishes, thank you so much, on your special day. We then, as well, have this one. This is a really lovely fold of this. So really lovely, deep embossed there on that particular one. I like this next item as well. It's kind of like a stamp, aren't they, which is cool. It's your marvellous mm -hmm. mariposa that you've got just there. And again, you've got the ability to lift up those wings on that one too. I love this. This is your opulent frame. Really kind of nice nested frame. Absolutely loads and loads of detail though in every element of that. Then you've also got your beautiful butterflies. These are awesome. If you love making your own background papers, you are going to have an absolute field day uh, with those ones. These, this next item, we spoke about it earlier, how you know there's items that transcend all of your different collections in each of the uh, signature collections, uh, and this one being one of them. I think those tickets and tags, Absolutely. you're going to use that for so much. That is tags and tickets that you've got just there. Then we also have this. Now, this one here, this is your perfect papillon. There, It's not perfect, is he, that papillon? He's got a little bit squished, unfortunately. But what you've got are three really nice, big, large dies that cut all three of the individual elements in there. And then you layer them up, and they create that lovely, um, dense butterfly that you've got. Next one is this here. This is your kaleidoscope, as you can see just there. Uh, and you've got a, uh, it's actually a double-sided die, this one. It's going to cut both parts for you, so you can land them up. I think my favourite element, though, on this collection is this one. This is amazing. This is your monarch that you've got here. And it is a super large stamp. And then what you've got is kind of a uh, leading edge. So you can either cut slightly out of the um, right side or slightly out of the left side and uh, do lots of different um, effects. So maybe you'll have it sort of slightly over the corner, maybe you want to lift something up, have something poking out from behind it. You've got all the options with that. All of that comes to you today, 132.48, 164.51. Everyone's going to get, again, free shipping and handling and free postaging and packaging on that, which is amazing. There's so much love, Trey, coming in for your earlier... Uh, craft along. Lots and lots of lovely comments. Mary Pat says stunning. Barbara says beautiful. Nora says that is so lovely. Uh, Divine says Sandra as well. So pretty. Uh, beautiful says Connie and Pam. Cal says it's very pretty uh, as well. Stephanie says I like it, Craig. A grouping of these on a wall would look great in any room with different Good decorations. Good idea. Flowers on. Really, really nice lovely idea. idea. Um, who else we've got? The price on the foil press is amazing. Yep. Says Deborah Allen. Uh, it really is, Deborah. You are correct. Um, red roses for the adorable Craig Laird. So should I? I do oh. love that. Um, does the panel box dies fit the panel cards he had? Ask Emma Bailey. I'm trying to think what the panel mm, box dies the panel box were. Box, Ah, the, mm, yes. I'm not sure. Fit the panel cards we had. The panel cards. The panel cards. I can't think of what the panel cards were. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it the, is it the one panel Was cards? it one of the craft kits that you had, Craig? So, yeah, so it I comes had... With a, the one that comes with the panels in it, doesn't I it? Can't, yeah. Is it that one? So this one is your uh, panel card die. So I'm trying to think what the 
panel cards were. These these will fit onto, for instance, a six by four card, uh, six by six card, five by five card. So they're not huge, big, uh, big dies within these ones here. Um, but yeah, so it's, uh, say around about a four by six card. That okay. Fit. Uh, brilliant. Well, Emma, let us know if that answers your question. If not, maybe you could try framing it uh, slightly differently. Um, demo of the show is number two, Craig. Number two, Your, my craft oh, demo of the day, sorry, is number two. Demo of demo the day. Show. Demo of the day. Oh, He's look. coming for a second week. He's going to really snatch the crown two weeks in a row. Two weeks in a row. Can we do it two weeks in a row? But yeah, there we go. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, right. Craig's got another mystery bag for us, which is rather amazing. Four mystery bags total in the warehouse here at CD, which is great going. Four. Wow. This one now is all about the beautiful Sharon Callis here. So this is part of her Arts and Flowers collections. This is Butterflies and Blooms, and this one is Butterfly Love. So this has got the stamps. It's got the dies included as well. So you can then be making this real big, a uh, focal point, could be a centrepiece, that could be one of the butterflies in the middle of your craft along frame, or little subtle butterflies popping about the frame, that's up to you. 20 elements in total, roughly it's going to be off the top of my head about 10 stamps and 10 dies if you've got one for each. Then we've got our um, Laura Vera baby, this one here, so this is one die, but you can then fold it in half, and then what you can then just what was do it is start time? to quill it up. Hello, hello, a lady. Hello, Vera, baby. Hello, hello a double doo doo, hello, lady. <laughs> so you got the one good substantial die within this one here, but that's your aloe vera baby within that one there. Still sticking with the arts and flowers collection, sensational succulents within this one here, and this is about the succulent. You've got your 30 elements in total, so that's a mix of your stamps and your dyes. So you could be making home deck or you could be making your projects, get these inexpensive little plant pots that you can then start to forum and make a statement piece from. That one's included. Then you've got, still with the arts and flowers, your little um, pot plant tabs, these are the labels, so you can start to incorporate them on your projects or your cards if you want to. Three in that pack. You've got our friendship stamp, so a good sizable friendship, topper and sentiment all in one, but you've got a few of your additional Belgian stamps as well, so your friendship one is one, the actual feather is another, and your little birdie on the branch here is another one, so that's included. Then we're going to have a look in with our flower fairy. So you've got aster and you've got rose included as well. 26 elements in each of these ones here. So it is going to be a fairy if you layer her up to be like that, but she could be a fairy, a ballerina, a dancer. It could be butterfly wings on their own if you want to. But that is also your rose. Same idea, completely different designs, different girl, but you can then be following same suit there. Could be a fairy, could be a dancer, ballerina, fairies, that's up to yourself. It's entirely up to you. But all of that is included within the Sharon Callis mystery bag as well. Lords. Amazing. Absolutely incredible value there. Uh, something else that you, we haven't even spoken about these today, but you guys have found them online. And my, oh my, loads of you have gone for these already. Not even mentioned them. Very, very busy on this. And easy to see why it's a 40% saving. So it should have been 119.84 in the UK. It's actually down to a penny shy of 70 pounds. Uh, it should be 119.20 in the US. Uh, under, uh, under $100, actually under $80 if you are a Platinum member. And this is all about iris folding. It's a really lovely... Uh, sort of mindful craft that you can do to create these lovely panels. Now, whether you want to use them as home decor, pop them in a box frame, use them as a, uh, a card topper, there's loads you can do with them. You'll get the die, the stencil, and also the paper pads for each of these as well, which is brilliant. Uh, 864 sheets of the in your paper pad across these ones. So you've got the rose in here. You also have the butterfly, which is that one just there. Then you've also got the bottle. This one's really versatile. Loads you can use that one for. Uh, you've got the present in here. And then there is the poppies. You'll get the blue, which is my favourite, I think. This one here is your balloons. 
and you're also getting the dress in here too. As I said, you are getting the paper pads included. There's loads of other stuff though you can use uh, instead of the paper pads. Uh, we talked about, what have we spoken about before? Maps, old, um, old newspapers work really, really well. Maybe you want to use it to use up your vellums is another great way of using it. Make sure you snap it up though whilst it's on such a great deal because you are saving 50 pounds or hundred dollars, which is amazing uh, let me share with you some of the other stuff that is coming up on the show uh, we've got some quite unbelievable prices here this is six builder blocks here you buy three you get free free I said you buy three you get three free you do at uh, 99.99 or 117.99 there really awesome that 27 of our multimedia dies in there We've just got a four pack available for you, so 74.98 or 89.94. In the alphabet, some numbers in that one as well, which is one of the most popular builder block designs that we have ever released. Uh, we've also got a curved collection for you, too. 70% off on this one, amazing. Not to be sniffed at, 69.99 or 106.99. But Craig. He's got it. We've got to do it again before the end of the show because it is unbelievably busy at the moment over on the website. It is a year of craft, the gift of giving, half price. I thought these were great value at the full price, Greg. To get it for half price is amazing. How? How is this still in stock? Not sure. Not How sure is this still longer. in stock? I honestly thought that it would have uh, gone in, uh, out of stock from earlier on. But here we go. This is our year of craft. This is the gift of giving. 265 elements. First thing to point out is if you did not get anything to do with the year of craft, that's absolutely fine. This works in an absolute standalone box craft kit on its own. Stamps, you've got the dies, you've got your booklet, you've got stencils, you've got templates, everything there is included for you to then create the projects. Or if you want to use them all in their own entity, you absolutely can do. Being half price at $17.49 or $19.97, is phenomenal but getting them in that platinum price is even better <laughs> platinum price a look platinum oh, price it's a double doo doo for catch a platinum, platinum day platinum price just to say platinum but what we've got within here is let's dive in and have a look so this does still come with its book so all of them last year came with their own book this one being issue two this was the second one but as i said a moment ago you do not need any of the other ones for this to work you've got your projects you've got your adhesives which ones are the best ones so although we've got kind of like our uh, adhesive 101 masterclass coming up at the weekend with michelle this is good just to have as well maybe you just want to always have it out in view on your craft desk but whether you're wanting really simple step-by-steps, tuitions, pictures, wording, and the techniques that you can be trying, you can be doing that one. You can be using the products that are in this box because this whole book is all being designed around the products that are inside. But for instance, let's go, let's have a look with, if we go back to the one I was showing a minute ago, this one here, I believe this was Nicole that had done this one. Forgive me if it's not Nicole, but, you can do exactly what she's done on this one, but instead of using the umbrella, you could use one of the other stamps or one of your own stamps at home. So you could have got a full creative play on that one. But you've got the step-by-steps, you've got your templates in here. What I would say is for this, when it comes to your stencils or your templates here, these are the only elements that you will find within things that we do that we see you can photocopy these. Anything like a template base, you can photocopy any of your templates. So you can do that or you can draw around it. That's up to you. But by all means, you can photocopy the templates. I would do that. I wouldn't take it out of the book. I want to keep it all together. But you can be doing that with the templates. Lots of ideas. You know, this is actually a good one because you've got lots of Father's Day ideas. Now, Father's Day being uh, June time. So that's going to be a good time. Works out great for the time of the year but lots and lots of ideas that you've got within that one there. But because of that, you've got all of the product as well. I mean, this instantly tells you the colorways that you're going to find throughout this box. You've got the ribbon, the band, you've got the die there for your umbrella as well as the Wellington boots. 
you've got all the stamps that are going to enable you to create the projects throughout that book and so much more. You've got all of your card blanks and the envelopes. You've got your stencils. You've got your templates in actual template form. You've got all of your printed papers, your great big wadge of pattern papers. You've got your 8x8 cardstock as well. You've got your die cut sentiments. All you need to do is pop these ones out. These are uncoated, so color them, spritz them, ink them. You can be doing that. And exactly the same with your sheets of die cut tabs and die cut sheets there. All done for you. All you need to do is color them whichever way that you so want and use them however you want. All of that you are getting for £13.99 platinum or £15.98 platinum is absolutely ri Donkulous. It's a absolutely ridiculous. Really absolutely ridiculous. 16, 1749 or 99.7. It's half price. No one's paying that, are they? Because you all get your some sort of club inspired discount, which is amazing. So uh, platinum members under fourteen pounds or sixteen dollars. I mean, you don't even need to think about it, really, do you? At that price, no. Maybe Craig, you went for it and you loved all the consumable elements yes. so much. I mean, at that price, you can afford to get it. And double up on the stamps and the dies, can't you? You if can. You want to. Of course you could, yeah. And then maybe if your daughter, your granddaughter, your son, your nephew, they've gone and got themselves a little Gemini Mini or Midi or that, give them the additional elements that you've already got and keep the papers and that. You can Absolutely. do Absolutely. Absolutely. A 13 99 if you are a Platinum member. Got to finish off with this. Hundreds of you have gone for this already today. It is so, so busy across on the website for this. Uh, it's our lucky dip. The £1 dollar, £5 dollar one, so popular, they sold out before we even came live today. We did have much deeper stock of the £3 dollar one, so great that we can still bring this to you. How this works is, for each one of these that you pop into your basket, you'll receive an item. You can have up to four in your basket without getting any duplicates. You may get some duplicates if you've got more than four in there. But what you're going to receive, maybe it's going to be some of our awesome Connie Fong uh, stamps here. Got some brilliant stamps and dies that you could be receiving. Uh, embossing folders uh, will be in there. Is it going to be one of our interchangeable dies? Could it be one of our amazing um, sentiment dies? Could it be any of that coming your way? Remember, up to four in there without receiving any duplicates. And you can use your Club Inspire discount even uh, on our amazing Lucky Dips. What a wonderful craft along we have had, Craig. We'll be back here, won't we, in two hours' time. With Absolutely. that amazing uh, UK warehouse, clips, which anyone can shop for, by the, yes. from, by the way. We've got 14 best ever prices that you still haven't seen. Check the website. I it's know. going to be a fun couple of hours, isn't it? It is, absolutely. Yeah, if you think we've shown you some of the best of the best, well, we have, but there's still more best of the best to come as well. We're going to be back later on, myself and Joe. And, uh, yeah, do shop ahead across on the website. That's the first thing that you need to do. But it's been a fun craft along. Really, really enjoyed it. Thank you for your lovely comments. Thank you to Grace, who's been sending them through, giving us a helping hand. But I'm looking forward to uh, doing a UK warehouse clearance with you. Well, it's going to be fabulous. Uh, in two hours' time, be there or be square, my friend, uh, myself and... My my friend Craig, we'll be back for two whole hours of fun. Uh, lots of you say how much you love this uh, craft along as well. Shadaya, uh, Linda, all say how great it has been. It's been absolutely fabulous. Myself and Craig, we will see you back here in two hours' time. Two hours for now.